Uh-oh, that's the bell. It's Battlefield 3 Matches 101, Episode 3, Finding Players to Play With. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how do you go about finding people to play with. And I know that sounds like a, an odd proposition, but it's something that we need to really talk about. One tank so, on the I talk about how you could play with your friends, play with your squad, play with your platoon, but a lot of people may not have many Battlefield 3 friends on Battlelog. Maybe their friends used to play it with them, they've, they've gone to other games, or maybe you just haven't really given a platoon or a group of people that usually play with much of an interest. And what I wanted to do is describe a few different ways that you can find people to play with. One of the easiest ways of doing it is common interest. Say, for instance, that you like playing uh, in Jets a lot. You can join jet dogfighting communities. You can go on platoons and search for them and type in dogfighters and you'll find a bunch of platoons that say, hey, feel free to join us. We're a dogfighting community. We want you to be part of your community. Likewise, another way you can just as easily go about doing it is let's say you play in a certain server, a server that you play regularly because it's on your favorites, and uh, you find that uh, a number of different guys that are tagged up with various team tags playing it regularly, and you may they may even kill you, kill you a lot, maybe you kill them a lot. But add them on your Battlelog friends list, and uh, and then from there, talk to them, join their platoon. And that actually goes to another way if you go about doing it. We all have friends lists that we've added in here. See which of your friends are active in your friends list and say, hey, let's create a platoon for this matches thing. And they'll say, sure, what do you want to play? And then you figure out what game mode you want to play. And then and then you may find out, oh, we're down a player. We're down two or three players. And say, well, let's, let's branch out. Let's use our networks and figure out some players that want to play with us around our common interests, around our skill level, what have you. Because Battle Log, a lot of people say, oh, well, Battle Log is the Facebook, and the Facebook is bad, and social media is bad. It shouldn't be in our games, yada, yada, yada. I disagree. Battle Log provides more of a tool, more of a tool than any other tool I've seen uh, in uh, in online computer gaming and first-person shooters, at least, that allows you to connect to people and allows you to interact with them and talk with them and create organizations and networks around them and communicate with each other. Uh, I know it's a little rough around the edges, but it is. It's got a, a ton of potential, and I think what we'll find is is that this. This kind of tool is something that, that I, as a competitive player, have yearned for for years. Because previously, if I were to create a scrim, if I were to play in a match like this, I'd have to find a legal ladder. If I wasn't familiar with that competitive community, I wouldn't know where to start. I could go to Google, I could search for a few things. Or I may, uh, or I may uh, find a server and just create a private server and invite random people that I know. But how do I know them? I may see them in a server, but I can't communicate with them otherwise. Because in previous games, you saw them, and that was it. And there's no way you communicate with them. So maybe if you ran into them again, you could say, hey, here's my email, and you can right, switch right. it up. Battlelog solves all these problems. and makes it so much more convenient. They're, they're still back so hotel all that hotel being plan. said, find people to play with. Talk with them. And if if you can't find anyone, just start f figuring out servers that you play in and start messaging people. There's no... This is just like, you know, asking a girl out on a date. I'm not trying to equate this to any sort of romantic or sexual thing. What's the what's the harm in, in saying and asking a question? If you got a friend of yours or you got a uh, a person that your acquaintance is with, add them on battle log and then send them a message and say, hey, let's create a platoon, let's play some matches. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think you'll find it a lot of fun too. And they'll say yes. That's great. If they say no, so what? Move on. Find more people to play with. Play these matches, have fun. I think that's going to be the end for this episode, episode three. Now let's talk about episode four, what's to come. In next week's episode, I'm going to talk about communications, communicating with your teammates. What's that mean? What do you do to make it happen? What kind of programs do you use? And so on and so forth. So until next week, I'll see you later and keep on playing those matches.